In this video, I'm going to tell you how to change the coding on your BMW when you've changed the battery. For example, if the battery you currently had was a 80 amp hour and now you're putting a 90 amp hour, you need to code that into your BMW power module. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to read the coding and then also, if you need to make a change, how to recode it. Right, so there I've opened the OBD port and there you can see the uh, USB to OBD connection. And here's my laptop. And on the laptop side, I have various BMW software, which I will now show you doing the screen record. For example, maybe you needed a new battery like I did, and uh, the amp hour was different to the one that was in the car. Or maybe you want to check and see what the amp hour rating of the current coding is on your car. Why is this important? Because the car, the power module, operates and, and uh, behaves according to the amp hour in terms of its charging time and things like that. So you want to first check the amp hour that is already been coded into the car and then compare it with the battery that you are going to install. If the amp hour you uh, have already um, got coded was uh, 80 amp hour and now you come with a 110 amp hour battery, you might want to tell the CAS or the power module that you're making this change. Right, so I'm going to do this step by step. Right, first thing is I just want to, for those people who have commented on my YouTube videos, they often ask me how do I get onto um, the uh, the car's uh, ECU. Well, I'm using, uh, you can see this is Oracle VirtualBox and I've already done an XP uh, little boot here, so it's a virtual server. So I've got a virtual uh, uh, boot of Windows XP and then I'm going to use a USB to uh, OBD converter and that gets plugged into the OBD of the car. Now I've already shown that so now what I'm going to do now is just show you how you check the coding. Sorry about that. How you check the coding and then also if you do need to make a change how you uh, make that change. Well, the first thing you need to do is start INPA. And then shortly after starting it, you can close it down. And the reason why you start it is just to get the EDIA bus server running, which allows the communication to take place between your computer and the ECU of your car. Then I want to use something called NCS Expert. There it is. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow me to talk to the module in question, which in my car, which is an E65, is the power module. And um, in many cars, and you will see on the internet, they can talk directly to the CAS module and they, and you will get the Empire rating. But on the E65, it's not there. You won't find it. You'll f uh, only find it on the power module. Right, now I'm going to demonstrate this now. Right, the process is as follows. Load profile, expert mode, F1, F3. Chassis, what, are you, what car chassis are you using? Now, I'm using X65, as I said. Right, we always talk to the through uh, via the CAS there we go okay now I'm going to pick up an error there it says the VIN is faulty co 2020 right now answer from the ECU I did that on purpose I want to show you because people are asking me what does this error mean it means your NCS expert is not able to is unable to talk to your ECU of your car why is that happening well either you've set the uh, where's that the um, port settings or your your um, com port is wrong so you can go and check that. Let's see, this is Windows XP, so you would have to go to My Computer, right-click, Manage, and then you would go to Device Manager. There it is. And if this is not, if this is incorrect, then you'll get this problem. So in my case, I've already configured it that port one is the FTDI or the um, the uh, OBD. To USB converter so and you there are some settings which you have to do here so there we go just to show you if you want to see right there we go now if for example you had this one was com2 but your input thought it was com1 well then you'll get this error so I'm just showing you what you'd need to check now the most important one is is the car on and when I say on I mean the in the auxiliary position or at least the dashboard lights coming on so in my case everything is fine <coughs> excuse me it's just that I have to put the dash the the uh, start button in and just uh, wake up the car so now I can see the um, communication system coming up the uh, dashboard lights so when I try again let's just switch off the music when I try again it will talk to the car so let's go f3 cas 
and there we go i can see that it is correct because you can see it's pulled up the vin number this is the vin number of this car it happens to be delta november triple one there you can see four five i know that vin number of park is my own car so that's telling me that i've got uh, communication happening between the NCS expert and the ECU of my car so they picked up the VIN number and uh, NCS expert does not know this VIN number of bar they had to read it from the car's ECU so that tells me that I've got good connection now right perfect now what I need to do is I go F6 back I acknowledge that this is correct that is the correct VIN number and now I'm going to say um, process ECU now why I'm saying process ECU is I only want to work with one ECU at a time I don't want to code all these or read all of these ECUs at the same time I just want to process one ECU now which ECU is it now this is a burning question yes many people will find the settings for the battery and most of the settings that you 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 generally change you know whether you drive with your lights on and the comfort access and what the key does and all these things i uh, will be in the cast but i have looked there and i have not found it for me it happens to be in the power pma which i'm assuming is the power module right now i'm telling incense expert that you're talking directly to the pma module now I first want to check the current coding remember what I said first check it I don't want to just code over uh, maybe the uh, coding for the battery maybe it is uh, 100 amp hour 110 amp hour and that's what I wanted so first let me check so that's why I'm going to change the job I want to read the coding so that's why it says there um, coder doubt and lesson I'm assuming that means coder data reading so I'm going to now say read ECU or you could just say execute job so you can choose either of these or do the same thing in this case here I'm going to say read ECU and what you'll find it comes up with this netto dat which is basically unreadable it looks like a bunch of uh, hexadecimal but in your work folder you should find the new information there you can see it's 727 p.m. on the 13th of February and there's the the data you see there it is so if you want to you could have just said um, execute job which I, th I think would we'll, we'll do the same thing because here is the trace file and there is all the settings for the power module now if I go down you should be able to see the amp hours somewhere here uh, it's coming shortly there it is so it's already telling me that my battery capacitate uh, I'm not saying it in German I'm not German I don't have that accent but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this is battery capacity uh, capacity to whatever um, 90 amp hour and AGM is just a, a different for uh, a different uh, what's it method of, of battery construction is I think it's a, a glass mat type so this is usually a high quality battery the AGM usually for the cars that have a stop start function is you know the the hybrid type the cars which is, you know when you get to the traffic light it, it, the engine cuts out and starts cuts out start. so that's the AGM now at the moment it says 90 amp hour so now maybe you want to change this well you could change this directly you could just right here you could say 100 amp hour and then what you'll need to do is you'll say file save as and then you will need to save that you'll change this trc to man to man file now i think i do have a video showing this i just want to uh, get it, there. it you see there it says the fsw psw dot man so the minute you change it you will save it as a man file and then what happens is once you've made that change you will then go and tell ncs expert change job and now you will want to code the 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 uh the ecu so if i wanted to change this i could change this to a hundred And then I would say file save as and now I'm going to change this to man like that save already exists yes because uh, there's already a file there okay so that's done now I have a look at the man file here you can see it should have the exact same coding uh, except for one item which now changed you see there I've changed the battery uh, capacity I've said I made it a hundred amp hour and I'm just wanting to see if there is another place where you change this a quantical yeah there as well um, I'm not sure about that if that has to be changed as well um, so now here's the 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 other th Tool. you can use something called NCS dummy which is a nice uh, piece of software which has got all this conversions in for you already so if you go to uh, PMA let's just check here the PM and then you pull up that uh, that file that we're just working with now the trace file 
then you can see if you wanted to do this via uh, NCS uh, uh, dummy you could also do it you could say oh, I want to do 110 amp hour and that uh, you, if you come lower down here you'll see it as well um, let's see somewhere here it comes again there it is so I think you would have to change it in both places I'm not sure what this stands for Ken felt I, one would have to uh, I would have to look at that up look that up so now what you could say is you could export so I'm just going to close this uh, man file so you could do it manually okay or you could use the NCS dummy which is quite helpful because you just tick it and then it uh, you export it and it, uh, it converts it for you export to man file there we go and then if I oops sorry and then if I close here and I go and look at the uh, the man file uh, there we go there it did change it you see 110 amp hours so you could use the you could do it manually or use the NCS uh, uh, dummy right now that's done now what we're gonna do is we want um, what's this uh, we want NCS expert to take that coding now in my case I I don't want a, a uh, 110 amp hour I only want the 90 amp hour so what I'm gonna do is I'll quickly code it but then I'll have to code it back so what I'm gonna do now is you're going to say uh, basic function and now you want to get the the data the coding from that uh, um, man file you want to get it into NCS export uh, expert uh, PSW there it is PMCO5 that's the uh, file that's the uh, CBD yes that's correct and what it's doing is it's checking it and it's got it ready you see now it's it's kind of gone through this uh, this man file and it's gone through all of it and it's put it into memory now you can change the job here and you can say SG coderant which means you're now coding you're now going to code this uh, this uh, um, this ECU with the new data and you see it says the SG coderant means now you're coding so you're taking the newly changed man file uh, data and you're going to write it to the ECU make sure your battery is charged don't do this with a, with a battery that is not fully charged right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say execute job right it is now done and if you want to read these you could change the job and check if that um, data was uh, accepted and then you could read the ECU and you'll see these files get updated right now I just want to make a, another comment uh, I've had some trouble with the NCS expert and if you find that the coding never worked you followed the steps I've given you and it still doesn't work you can go and find this profile it's called Revter's NCS expert profile and that uh, is very useful as well so you follow the same procedure F1 F3 uh, you'll choose your chassis, you're still speaking to the CAS, and then what you'll do here is you'll say back, and you'll say process ECU, you must choose the ECU that you want to pro talk to, so I'll just say for example, I'm just going to give you, say say you go to the, the CAS, or okay, well we did the, the PMA, that's fine, you can go to the PMA, where is it, there it is, and then you can say change job and you do the exact same things but I've just loaded this profile called Revtus profile which is available on the internet and you can get a good uh, lesson right there we go and then when you're ready to um, execute it the only difference is you don't have to do the the function where you say um, uh, you know when you have to pull this back in get FSW PSW it actually does it automatically okay car has to be on sorry about that so uh, my car was not on so I'll just say change yeah, there we go execute job read ECU uh, there we go it's read the ECU there's the uh, trace file and then you can go and change this manually file save as man dot man and then using the Revtus profile you'll come back to NCS expert 
and then you will just say uh, change job SG Coderin and you'll say uh, execute the job uh, so that's another way of doing it if you find that it doesn't take what I mean by it doesn't code it means that when you try to reread it and check you see that the setting never got changed so that's just a bug that I ran into uh, I've managed to get them both to work but sometimes I do code and then I see that the the general uh, the just the normal expert profile never coded for some reason so I find this Revtis profile very useful so that's just uh, something which you might want to look at all right so thanks for watching if you follow the procedures you will be able to do your coding all right, cheers.